What we found is that we kind of struck a chord in terms of how it looks, the ease of launch, nice ball speeds. Uh, they were able to execute the shots they wanted to execute. And to be honest, that's how we got a lot of feedback to make this one even better. One of the things that's interesting about the Mizuno Pro 24X series is that uh, we've got the Fly High and we've got the 245. The 245 and Fly High are both hollow construction. Uh, they both have thin faces built for COR, built for distance, but the Fly High is always going to be a, a little bit longer distance golf club. Uh, because of the way it's designed. It's larger, has a larger rebound area, has a little bit thinner face. So choosing between maybe a three or four fly high versus a three or four two four five really comes down to what you're trying to do. Are you trying to maximize the distance of that club or are you trying to hit it a specific distance? The Mizuno Pro Fly High is uh, really only offered in a two iron, three iron, four iron at 16.5, 19, and 21.5 degrees of loft. The stronger lofts lend themselves more to being a utility iron and maybe linking the strongest lofted iron from within the set to the weakest lofted metal wood. And it's, it's really there to kind of be uh, like a hybrid and for gapping. Um, but in its four iron state, it could be used really as part of a combo set with any of the other Mizuno Pro 24X series irons just to kind of maximize the distance on your strongest lofted part of that set. When somebody's first checking out the new Mizuno Pro Fly High, there's a lot of subtle differences. If you look at it, you're going to see a thinner top line. You're going to see a, maybe a little bit more compact head. While making it compact, we also wanted to increase the performance. We think that we've made some really nice changes in terms of how it looks at a dress, and also improving the performance at the same time. It's always a challenge to like simultaneously increase the performance while making the head a little bit smaller. But we were able to do that. Having the deeper and lower center of gravity is gonna help launch the ball higher for longer carry distances. And what we were able to do with the new 4335 nickel chromoly face in terms of increasing the COR and the core area, you're gonna get more performance out of a smaller package. Uh, the body itself is nickel chromoly 4335, but it's not heat treated. So by not heat treating it, we're able to bend the hosel for loft and lie. The face part uh, has a new geometry. It has like an L-shaped geometry where the welding line is actually just inside the face gauge and then it comes down and wraps around the sole. So the face part actually includes part of the sole. The face, which is made out of the 4135 nickel chromoly in its heat treated state, which is extremely strong, we can use that weld line to our advantage to have a thinner top line and also uh, allow the sole to flex a little bit, contribute to the COR, particularly on shots that hit a little bit lower on the face. Typically what you see in these type of club heads, these iron utility clubs, uh, or driving irons is the face is made from sheet stock, which is just uniform thickness. What we've done on the 2024 Mizuno Pro Fly High is we've utilized multi-thickness face. So it allows us to go all the way down to 1.8 millimeters around the perimeter and then build it up a little bit in the center so that we can expand out the core area. So uh, just like with any iron or metal wood, we're, we're gonna implement our harmonic impact technology to ensure that we have a really solid impact sound. So in the case of Mizuno Pro Fly High, what we've done is reinforced this back surface right here and actually given it like a little bit of bulge and roll so that it is a little bit more self-reinforcing. And that actually made a big difference in terms of the sound if we can just reinforce this very thin area along the backside. It has like a hot sound, but solid at the same time. 